All right, it's been uh, I don't know, like 11 days since I've been over here in the Floresville yard. And, uh, we're gonna run through these real quick and give them a quick inspection, see how much honey they made. During that short amount of time, this was a empty super that I put on top of them. So we'll see uh, how the flow's going over here. Let's get into them. Right. In for just a bit. Wow, okay. No. Take a look at what we got. really doing much with these three frames right here but man they are coming to say hi already come on okay Being very defensive already see they're starting to draw comb out on that see the nice little white I don't know if you can see where this lighting is pretty horrible but they're starting to draw out on that one set that one down to give us some room Another one here, acting like it's stuck to the bottom. And that is a beautiful frame of honey. And it took them 10 days, and this thing's ready to pull. Almost, they got a little bit of capping to do on this side. Once it's all white like that and capped off, means it's ready to go so this frame still needs a little bit of work but that's still pretty amazing that they made that much honey in such a short amount of time those are hard workers same same story on this one it's not quite capped here but it's all the way capped here now you can spin them when they're about 75 percent capped and still be okay um, this one's not quite 75 percent I'm just gonna let it go let it go a little bit longer and uh, we'll see what they have over here in the middle. This one's getting less. This one I'd say is about 50%. Beautiful, nice dry capping on that. Dry capping is the real white stuff. And the wet capping, let me see if I can find some on it. These are, wet capping is this kind of see-through stuff right here. I don't know if y'all can see. See this stuff right at the top would be a wet capping and that real white pretty stuff at the bottom is dry capping. Doesn't matter, the honey's good either way, but uh, that's great. I'm glad these girls are doing as good as they're doing. I'm going to slip this frame in right here. That honey will be ready in another day or so probably. Should be, should be good to go. So starting to get a little pissy. Close them up. They know I'm after the honey, I think. Box is actually letting them in on the front and the back. A bunch of old equipment I bought from an old man. My uncle got out of bees and I bought all his old equipment. Gonna work with what you got. Okay. Now this one here was still don't like these frames very much, but they are packing honey into some of them. That one's physically 
pull the honey there. Let's get down to this bottom one and see what's in it. That's the one that was brand new foundation. Last time I was out here that I added. gloves on here in a minute. Nice brood, everything else, which is good because the frames that are down that are in there are kind of junky plastic. Still a good thing, beautiful laying pattern though. So this hive is, it's a medium on the bottom too. So I like brood boxes to be deep. That's fine, nothing wrong with that. They'll grow, I'm gonna split them here in a month or so anyway. Okay, on to the next one, huh? Not really a good idea to have these hives this close when they're a little bit aggressive like these girls are because they just follow you from hive to hive and then they build up and you wind up getting stung a little bit more. These girls are out of room completely. They are building up on the entrance over here. It's pretty hot out here so they're a little bit cranky. Especially this one with this metal lid. I need to put another lid on this one. But, uh, let's see what there is to be seen in here. This one had some honey already started in it a few days back. So I would expect to see some ready to pull in this box. Shaken off, blown off. This one will go home to the extractor. Here's another one that's capped pretty much all the way. Got a little bit there, but that's not a very big deal. Seventy five percent enough to ready to go. Let's get on uh get on with this one. Man, they're getting a little bit iffy about taking their honey. The rent is due, ladies. There's not much I can do with it. We're all gonna make a living. Jeez. Another one's gonna be ready to go. That's three. Mm -hmm. 
be a couple jars of honey anyhow. box quick or they'll have a mess in here. That's for sure. Okay, let's uh get more smoke. Alright, so I need three frames for this hive here. I don't have any over here in Coorsville. I'll bring them back. What I'll do is spin these frames out and bring it right back and put them on these hives. Tomorrow or maybe even tonight I'll come in here and slip them in that way they can get right to work Filling those back up because they had to build all this comb before they could pack the honey into it or while they were packing the honey into it if I uh, If they already have the room to pack it they pack it a lot a lot faster So let's uh I got to get this honey covered up So I'm gonna have it in one hand and Grab this dude with the other one We'll, uh, last thing I want is a robbing situation over here. So let's check this one right here. This was another one that we added a super to. And, uh, we'll just see what happens with it. Today. Not using the right kind of fuel. Sorry about that. Told y'all y'all probably gonna see me put gloves on here in a minute. Uh, these bees, they want to keep their honey. That's for sure. They got me about ten times before I can get these gloves on. But no big deal. taking a little bit but I don't feel like getting eat up. I'm not wearing a full suit today. Oh y'all can't even hear nothing. They are all over there. a bit shall we these girls are mad they're uh they're getting my legs pretty good i don't know if you can see my legs right now but yeah they're getting tall up absolutely ridiculous Ooh. all right 
Well, when you get in, they're in the pants too. They're getting the boots and everything. So when you get in a hive like this, best thing to do is calmly walk away, let them, they'll be mad, but you know, not much else to do. Oh, um, yeah, they're, uh, they're just eating my legs up. You know, I usually don't bring my dog with me for this reason, because normally I'd be in the truck right now, but uh, that's not an option today. Ooh, this hive is definitely aggressive. I've walked about a hundred yards and they're still on the still on the prowl, so I'll probably stop here in a minute getting stop them from stinging my legs. They are just all over. <laughs> Exciting stuff, right? Oh after my bees were great, won't they? Jesus. Back in quite a bit of honey, but I don't like the numbers coming out of there right now. Okay, they're off my legs. Big little walk. That's why I always wear a bee veil. I could have pretty easily worked those other hives, and this hive had not been like this in the past. You've seen them last time I was here, they weren't, they were very docile, and uh been 10 days but it's possibly that they swarmed or requeened or something and uh but they just ain't having it today i'm about 100 yards away from them right now and they're still they're still getting after me uh if i didn't have this suit on i would be in really really bad shape right now because i usually had a couple hundred on my legs it's uh yeah it's not a fun deal so i guess you are going to see how to deal with an aggressive hive like that too i'm probably going to have to requeen them split them up real good and uh do something with them um the landowner was mowing right next to him and i told him don't mow next to those bees because you never know one day they might just go off that's the risk we take uh, feral bees. Bees are just all over me. So, uh, that's what it is. All right, well, I got to get back over there. I got to get some smoke or something on them or sit here and 